Did you realize that vitamin K2 lowers your risk of dying from heart disease by 57%? But here is the catch. Millions of people, including most doctors, are not even aware of this essential nutrient. And in a study where they evaluated 542 adults, they actually found that 438 of them, which is a whooping 97%, were deficient in vitamin K2. But what I quickly want to address in this video is the right amount needed to clean your arteries and restore your blood pressure. So if you are looking to maintain a normal blood pressure without constantly relying on medication, without constantly relying on drugs, then this video is for you. And as a matter of fact, I can guarantee that the information which I'm going to share with you in this video, you are not going to be able to find them in any other YouTube channel. So if I were you, I will stick to the very end of this video, okay? Now, as we get older, calcification of arteries becomes a significant concern. And the calcified arteries means too much calcium is deposited in the arterial wall, which decreases the elasticity of your artery, making it stiff, narrow, and hardened. All of these actually accelerates pulse wave velocity, thereby widening pulse pressure and leading to hypertension. So basically, patients with resistance hypertension usually have exaggerated stiffness in their arteries. So sometimes you could be taking some anti-hypertensive medication. That is not going to solve this problem because you are not addressing the root cause of this problem. Now, the other interesting thing is that a lot of people as they get older also tend to be taking vitamin D to restore their bone strength and their bone density, which is good because vitamin D helps the body to absorb calcium. I mean, vitamin D is one of the most consumed supplements, but the problem is that majority of these people that are taking this vitamin D already may have calcified artery, already may have heart disease. So by taking this vitamin D, which drives calcium from the gut into the blood, that is going to further contribute to narrowing of your artery. So the missing nutrient here is vitamin K2. And how this vitamin K2 works is by activating this special protein called MGP, which inhibits the deposition of calcium in your artery walls, okay? So this MGP protein keeps calcium away from soft tissue, like your blood vessel where it is not needed, and move them to other parts of the body, like your bones, where it is needed, making your arteries more flexible and more healthy. So essentially, in the case of a uh, vitamin K2 deficiency, this MGP protein remains inactive, impairing calcium removal from your, from your artery wall, and that is going to clog up your artery, it's going to make your artery stiff, more narrow, and unfortunately, that is going to cause you to have high blood pressure. And just for a side note, MGP protein is just one of the 20 or so protein that are dependent on vitamin K for activation. So vitamin K is not just important for restoring your bone strength and your bone density or by decalcifying your artery, but also essential for other body processes that are essential for life. So vitamin K2 is a very important nutrient that you have to be taking for the activation of all of these proteins that are dependent on this nutrient, okay? But the question remains, how much vitamin K2 do you actually have to be taking to restore your blood pressure and to decalcify your arteries? Well, the simple answer is that there is no established tolerable intake of vitamin K2 because the chances of getting vitamin K2 toxicity is actually very rare. And the different values has been used in different clinical studies, but the one I actually recommend you go for is by taking 500 to 600 micrograms of vitamin K2 per day in the form of MK7. That is the best form of vitamin K2. And also, that is going to ensure that all of those proteins that are dependent on vitamin K are not starved, okay? And then, if you, are, if you have diabetes, if you have chronic kidney disease or you are taking vitamin D supplements, you may actually have to increase your intake to 700 to 800 micrograms of vitamin K2 per day in the form of MK7 as well because that is the best form of vitamin K2, okay? So if you are taking vitamin K2, if you are doing this every day, that is going to help lower your blood pressure. That is going to help keep your blood pressure 
in a normal range in a target range okay now the other one huge mistake i see a lot of people make is when they are taking vitamin d supplement which is why i make this video make sure to check it out thanks for watching